a year ago. Lauren and her, I know we're like super close and did some things with corporate. So I had seen her around. And then at, I want to say in Mexico, we kind of like Texas is a small world. And so we connected there. And last time I saw her, we really had a heart to heart. And she's someone that is just super inspiring, um, is always serving others. And I feel like would be a great person to kick off the new year and share with us. So I'm going to go ahead and hand it over to her so she can take it away. And then um, I will be back. You are so sweet. So we are neighboring states. Y'all are in Kentucky, right? Y'all let me know in the chat what state you're from. So I'm from Arkansas. And yeah, we, I mean, I don't know. I feel like Plexus has led me to some of the most you know, genuine, cool people that want to grow and want to improve. And I know that Lauren and I have experienced so many things together and we've gone to corporate and we've done photo shoots for corporate and we've, you know, just spent time together. And that's one big thing why I personally love Plexus is the people, because when you're around people in this company, you feel good and you feel better how many of you are going to Super Saturday? Let me know in the chat. Where are you attending? So I I love, I love Plexus for that reason. So thank you for that introduction. Yeah, it, I didn't even know there was a game tonight. Alan texted me and was like, do you want to have family over for the NCAA game? I was like, what game? So we don't have a dog in the fight either, but we love sports and we have boys and they're big into sports. And so Anytime there's a big championship game on, we're watching it. So we're grilling tonight and we're just hanging out and being together. But yeah, Natasha just kind of wanted me to share my heart on the new year and where we're headed as a company. And uh, I'm going to be speaking at Super Saturday. So y'all are going to get to hear a little bit about that. And my segment is on what to do when you've hit a plateau. And that's something that I'm very passionate about when it comes to Plexus, because if you've been in this, for longer than a year, you know that it's not always a straight ride to the top. And you know that there are difficulties, there are um, burnout seasons, there are struggles. And, you know, the beauty of this is to figure out and how to work your way through those struggles and through those seasons. And so they have me speaking on that. And that's kind of what I want to share tonight over the next couple minutes is this is a new year and I love the new year for the reason of a fresh start. So if you have not created your vision board for 2024, highly recommend doing that. If you don't know how to do that, you can Pinterest vision boards or dream boards and they're really cool. You can, you know, kind of attach all in one collage where you want to be. And when you think about a vision a vision is not just a wishful thought or a daydream of, you know, oh I, oh, I wish I could be there or that's a dream that I have one day. But something that really held me back, I sat at Senior Ruby for two years and Lauren and I have had multiple conversations about this because it's, it's you know, a lot of people go through ups and downs and seasons and it's OK. That's one thousand percent OK. This is not a race. This is a journey. But what held me at Senior Ruby for so long was I did not see the long-term vision when it came to this business and when it came to this company. And so, therefore, my team did not see the long-term vision when it came to this business and to this company. I was your incentive girl. Like, I can sign up 20 people in a month, okay? I was that. I'm an Enneagram 3. Where are my Enneagram 3s at? Like, I am here for the incentives. I'm here to win the blankets. I, I earned the blanket on me and Alan's account because I wanted that daggum blanket. Like I was that person that could recruit and recruit and recruit. But when it came down to getting business builders on my team, I struggled with that. And that's because I did not believe that I would be a jewel. I did not believe wholeheartedly within my soul. I remember getting on a Zoom like this and I had a jewel up line say, Marissa, what is your why? What is, you know, do you have a vision board? Have you ever created a dream board? And I literally like internally laughed because I was like, this is so dumb. Like I, like that was my, the first thought that went through my head. And I'm just being vulnerable with y'all tonight because 
there's a lot of you that feel the exact same way. If I asked you from a zero to a 10, if you believe that you would, be, you would be a jewel, some of you would probably say a five or below, right? And so you're, you're, the way that how you believe in yourself and how you believe in this business is how people are going to be believe in you. Truly people. I mean, think about it. You, you follow different people on social media. You follow different Plexus leaders and jewels and you follow those people because they're confident. They know where they're going. They're excited about the future. They're sharing what, what's working for them. That's why you follow them. But if you are personally not doing those things, that may be why you're not growing. And so I want you to ask yourself in 2024, where do you want to be? Where do you want to go? How do you want to grow in your business this year? And really get vulnerable with yourself about that. Because even as a Sapphire, I feel like we have to, I mean, Natasha can probably tell you too, like even as Jules, we have to revisit our why often because even as Jules, you get comfortable with where you're at and how we move forward is by revisiting our why. And the why is what's going to really like motivate us to move forward. So I sat at Senior Ruby for two years. I really had to learn leadership and I'm going to share more about this on Saturday, but I really had to learn leadership and I had to learn long-term vision. You know, you hear that all the time, but like, I really didn't know what that meant. And I feel like the Lord kept telling me like, Marissa, I'm teaching you to be patient. I'm teaching you to trust and I'm teaching you to surrender because if you are an Enneagram three, you know, as well as I, you're in the driver's seat of everything that you do. Like I'm in control. If I'm hosting an event, don't nobody got to help me. I will take care of it all. But I've had to learn to delegate. I've had to learn to ask. I've had to learn to point out the strengths in others. I've had to learn to ask a team member, hey, do you want to host an event? I'll help you. But I would love for you to be the one to host it. Where inside I'm cringing because I'm thinking of every little thing that could go wrong, right? But we have to let go of that because that's the only way that our people are going to learn. That's the only way that our people are going to improve and feel confident and feel excited about where they're headed is by you pouring that belief into them. Does that make sense? So if you are in one of those seasons right now, it's okay. It's a new year and it's okay to, to acknowledge that and say, okay, I'm in this burnout season. I'm in this slow season, but I'm excited for where I'm headed. Y'all, our company we this momentum right here from our triplex and balance is insane. Like if you're not using triplex and balance, holy moly, it is game changer. OK, and that is creating so much momentum for our team to lose weight, to feel good, to focus on health, to focus on improving all of those things. And I always go back to what are you doing to improve yourself? Are you using the supplements? Are you working out? Are you drinking your water? Are you improving? Because how on earth is anybody going to do that on your team when you're not doing that yourself? Make sense? So it's a new year. And if you haven't done your vision board, do your vision board and uh, send that to your sponsor. Send it in your team thread. Set it as the background on your phone. Um, you know, share that on your Instagram story. When you claim where you're headed, I used to like not even say that I would be a jewel because I was so scared that I wouldn't be a jewel. And then people would be like, she said she was going to be a jewel and she failed. Like, I'll never forget my upline being like, Marissa, you're going to take a picture beside Alexis. And I was a senior goal. I was like, I ain't, this is crazy. Like, but doing it, y'all, I remember the feeling when I did go to that Lexus dealership and I took that picture and inside, I was like, there is no way. But I'm so thankful that I did because I now have that picture. And I was a senior gold when I took that. So how you believe in yourself is how other people will believe in you. And this is a new year. Everything in this business is figure outable. We have YouTube videos. We have Plexus Go app. We have jewels that you can learn from. Like I said, I watch a lot of YouTube um, videos, Christina Williams, Brittany Howard, Jill Renfro, Emily Roberts, so many good jewels to learn from. And everything in this business is figure outable. Stop making excuses 
and making it someone else's fault on why you're not growing. It is not your upline's job to motivate you. It is not your upline's job to help you rank. And that's really harsh, but that it's so true because there's no excuse. Like everything in this business is figure outable. So go get it. Go learn social media. If you don't know social media, go learn it. Go share your heart. People connect with people through storytelling. People connect with people through emotion. That's why Natasha connected with me. It was through emotion. It was through conversation of me being interested in who she was and how she was doing. And I asked questions. Sometimes it's good to not be the one talking all the time. And I had to learn that because I could talk all day long. I love it. I love people. I love to talk. But sometimes people need you to be interested in them and where they're going and what they're doing. So really quickly before I jump off, a couple of things that are working for me and my team, because I know that's what y'all want to hear, right? So um, we do a shout out post every month and we give away $50 cash to somebody that does a shout out post. So this has been game changer because for instance, if Lauren was one of my new VIPs, I would get her on the phone within the first 24 hours before she even gets her products. I'm going to get her on the phone. I'm going to share water intake, get a cute cup with a straw so that you can drink your water. I'm going to share how I added her to our testimony group. And then I'm going to say, hey, we have a shout out post giveaway. And you can literally shout me out for helping you get started on your supplements. And your name goes into a drawing for $50 cash. I have an example that you can use and I have a couple pictures that you can use because you haven't gotten your box yet, but I have some cute little pictures that you can choose from. Would you want to do that? Okay. We have created so many silvers from the shout out post idea. I actually just had one go silver before y'all got, I got on with y'all. She did a shout out post Saturday morning. She signed up three people in two days from her shout out post. Okay. So here's what happens when they do a shout out post. As soon as somebody is interested, they are going to put them in a group message with their sponsor. So if Lauren is my new VIP and her friend Shelby is interested, she is going to immediately put her in a group message with me because Lauren doesn't know what she's doing yet. Make sense? It's We call it an ATM method. We adopted it from... Um, What's her name? Jenna Hatula. We had a really cool call with her last May and it changed everything because our retention was really, we were struggling with that. And so we adopted this method of ATM, add tag message, add to your Facebook group, tag in a testimony, put them in a three-way message with your sponsor. That has been game changer because again, if Lauren is brand new, she's not going to know what combo to use. She's not going to know how to use her share cart link. She's not going to know what to recommend for her friend Shelby. But then I come in there, I share my heart, I share my testimony, and then there's third-party validation. She now has two people that are sharing that they love Plexus, and she's really going to be on board because she not just has Lauren, but now she has me. Does that make sense? So that's shout-out post. Another thing that's working for us is, so our senior Rubies and above are doing many meet marissa chats or mini meet cheyenne i have a girl named cheyenne that's a senior ruby we're calling them mini meet marissa chats 15 minute zoom you invite your new vips to get on and meet me i share 15 minutes why i started why i'm staying what's working shout out post idea referring three friends cash incentive for january because there's a lot of cash up for grabs it takes 15 minutes i provide the message for my leaders to send to their new customers to hop on with me. It takes 15 minutes. And I do them all times of the day. Saturday morning, I did my first one at 9 a.m. We had six people get on. Six new customers got on, met me. Three of them did a shout out post. Okay. So it does take a little bit of time. But those are things that you could kind of implement to start doing and get your leaders to do to just grow their confidence. And really it's an action step for your newbies because a lot of new people that do join don't know kind of where to go and what to do. And yeah, they hear that you're excited and yeah, they may watch a YouTube video, but when you're getting them plugged into something, 
that is game changer for them. And the first, like, to me, the first seven days of, of, of a VIP's journey is the most crucial. Like, if they are not sold within the first seven days, a lot of times they don't stay. And y'all know as well as I, when you can get somebody to silver, a lot of times they'll stay and they want to go senior silver and they want to go gold. I mean, if you ask Lauren, Natasha, Tamara, if you ask any of us, if we wanted to be full-fledged jewels when we joined, we didn't. I didn't even want to go silver. I was like, okay, like I'll, I'm not posting a picture of myself with a pink drink, but I will send a couple of messages. Like I was that girl. I was so stubborn, but y'all, you are the one that leads the way and people follow people that know where they're going. And a, a lot of people will tell you, and this is a statistic actually, that people follow people that are real, not people that are always right. I don't want to be in a room with people that are always right, that know everything, that have everything together. I want to be in a room with people that are real and that are like, I'm struggling too. I have issues too. My house is a mess too. But here's what I'm learning along the way. Does that make sense? Okay. Does anybody have any questions for me at all? Feel free to unmute yourself or share in the chat. Natasha, what you got? Does anyone have any questions for her? I know um, you can always reach out to me too later if you have some questions and I can get back with her. I have just, one. Yeah, just remember if you take anything away, everything is figure outable. And people follow people that know where they're going. And you are here for a reason. And this, I mean, I, I, I had a jewel ask me, Natasha, I remember when I was in that slow season, like, what if Plexus was gone tomorrow? What if your account was gone tomorrow? What if the opportunity and the supplements were gone tomorrow? How would that make you feel? And it like, it, I mean, it makes you emotional because I can't imagine my life without it. The positivity, the encouragement, the desire to improve. Like, I mean, we're all here for a reason and it's okay to have slow seasons. You know, we all do. So. Yes, that's for sure. I know Whitney had a question really quick. Yeah. Um, hi, Marissa. This was awesome. So for the, I love the idea of the 15 bin, meet Marissa chats and then you encouraging them to do the shout out post from there. Is that what that is? Yep. yep. Um, so do you just use like a calendar link with slots of when you're available to do those and people sign up for the available slots or how do you, so, um, do do I don't that? I don't know if you've ever heard of Calendly. Yeah, um, that's what I was wondering. Something like that. Yep. yep. So I use Calendly and mm. I have an option for a 15 minute meet Marissa chat. And I have my leaders sign up there. And a lot of times though, like this last weekend, I just rolled it out Friday at lunch. And in my team thread, I said, Hey, I'm going to get on tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. for 15 minutes if any of your new customers want to come meet me. And I said, send this message to your new customers from December. And if they want to hop on, they can. And so that's kind of how I did that. But Calendly, if you are a planner, organizer, check boxes type person, Calendly works very well for that. And I would just roll that out to your leaders and say, hey, I want to meet some of your new customers. I really just want to share my top tips on how to get the most out of your journey and just kind of share my heart. I feel like a lot of people don't, um, you know, they don't get the full benefits of this when they're not face-to-face -face interacting and, and learning about personal growth and all the things. So would you be free Sunday night at 7.30 Central to hop on a 15 minute Zoom with my friend Marissa. She wants to share, you know, some of her top tips because what I've found, a lot of people are weirded out by the word Zoom. And a lot of people are weirded out by connecting with somebody that they don't know. So it's all about how you're wording it. Like if I was like, if I was to say, hey, I'd love for you to meet my friend Whitney on a Zoom, we're doing a meet Whitney call and I just want to connect y'all. They're going to be like, what am I meeting Whitney for? You know what I mean? Especially if they have no desire to work the business. 
So you almost have to come at it. And I'll send Natasha my example of a reach out for that and the shout out post example. I'll send those to y'all. Um, in our, so we have a testimony Facebook group. It's called Gut Health, Hope and Happiness. And it is our group for potentials, customers, VIPs, ambassadors. It's like our community page. But we have a post that is pinned at the very top called shout out post $50 giveaway. Every time somebody does a shout out post, we screenshot their post, add it in the thread and say, Whitney did a shout out post. Her name's in. So-and-so did a shout out post. Her name's in. So I'll send, but I'll send that to um, Natasha. It's it's worked very well. I feel like it's a, and if y'all can get your people on the phone within the first 24 hours, that's game changer because you can kind of, and I literally say like, I signed up a girl tonight and I said, you have 10 minutes to chat with me tonight. I know you're a busy mama, but I would love to just share some of my top tips on how to get the most out of your journey before you even get your box. And she was like, yeah, girl, I'll let you know after I'm done with fast time. So I'm going to get on, share real quick, get her to do a shout out post, connect her with my sponsor, Brittany, and then go from there. So Marissa, the I have a, yeah, go I ahead. Have a question. I have a question about that. Do you, when, when they get on like real quick, 10 minutes, do you just give them tips about the products because you're not sure if they're really wanting to do the business or what is so that? Look like? I have like five key things. I have water intake. Get a water bottle with a straw. Straws are huge for water, but that's because I'm weird. I'm not a water drinker, so I have to have a straw. And then uh, I share about subscriptions and perks, why it's important to keep your subscription on. You're going to get perk credits every time your subscription rolls out. It's a really cool program to get free stuff. I share about the Gut Health Open Happiness Facebook group, why that is important, testimonies in there. You may have a mom or a friend or a cousin who's struggling with, you know, postpartum or depression or, you know, IBS or whatever. There's lots of testimonies in that group that you can tag them in if, you know, they need help with that. Uh, and then I share about consistency, giving it a good three to six months, how you didn't get to where you are overnight. Detoxing can be a thing. So if you're having a few headaches, that's super normal. Um, but give it a good three to six months. You will see really good benefits if you'll do this for a good three to six months because that's when your body's getting truly and fully balanced. And the first 30 days are just, that's just the first ingredient. Like you have to keep going and keep mixing. And then my last thing is the shout out post. And I always say, you may not want to work this business full time and that is totally okay, but you can get your products paid for just by grabbing three people to do this with you, you could grab your mom, sister, cousin, make 300 bucks this month. And the way to do that, truly, I personally, I would do a shout out post and your name goes into a drawing for $50 cash. You have to make it very personal. People are turned off by like the businessy. And some, some of you guys that are the Enneagram where it's like everything is, has to be like a checklist thing there's nothing wrong with that like the lord gave you those gifts for a reason and i wish i was more like that but you almost have to flip it i call it feel felt found tell them that you have you feel the same way you totally get where they're coming from and i remember i felt that way when somebody wanted me to share but here's what i found genuinely sharing this opportunity and this wellness you know uh, journey has encouraged a lot of people and just by you sharing that you're on this new journey may encourage somebody to go and start walking at the gym or start taking some vitamins. You don't know until, you know, you like you're open to it. So that's kind of how you have to address it. Is that good? Does that help? Okay, cool. Yay. I do the uh, drawings monthly. So it's a monthly $50 drawing. Anybody that has a customer do a shout out post that's who splits the $50 cash so that's how that works and last month we each had to pay a dollar 88 just so y'all know so it's not that it's like y'all can y'all especially if you have big teams like um it's super cheap and it's a really great way to give away $50 cash and bless somebody so all right Thank cool you so much marissa i know that <laughs> I know I could hang out with y'all all night, but I probably. <laughs>
Well, you gave us so many like tangible things to take away that I feel like that's what so many people want when we get on these calls instead of like just being spoken to and like training. Like you gave us so many things that we can take and apply to our businesses. So thank you. Yeah. But welcome. I'll go ahead and let you hop off and then you can just send me those examples and I'll get it to everyone. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Bye. All right. Bye. So I'm going to go ahead and do our giveaway. So if you all can put something in the chat that you